I am the CEO of Xperia Health, which is a company that was formed to help rapidly transform and improve the patient experience in healthcare today. I define the patient experience as the single best way to improve outcomes in healthcare in America today. And that is by listening to what matters most to patients and integrating their voice into process improvement efforts in healthcare. The typical experience for a patient and their family in healthcare today is one that is very fragmented, um, disempowering, uh, disconnected, dehumanizing. Uh, I think people have to fend on their own, advocate for themselves. The healthcare system of the future should be one that empowers patients and families to take responsibility for their health care, uh, to have them be equal and valued partners. But in order to do that, they have to be given the tools to help navigate the system. And right now, the system and the technology gets in their way of actually being empowered to be an equal partner in their care. I think there are huge benefits to practitioners if we make patient experience a top priority in healthcare today. I think it does a couple of things. It helps return us to the core values and purpose for why we entered healthcare in the first place. I think our organizations are exhausted because we're chasing one thing each day that's broken. We're chasing hand washing, quality, safety, process improvement. And if the overarching umbrella were patient experience, we would actually focus on, focus on what matters most to patients and families. And I think when we talk about experience, we should also define an optimal experience and environment for doctors and nurses. And I think healthcare administrators should be asking the question, what would it take to have doctors and nurses want to spend the rest of their career in this clinic or this organization? And put in the three to five things that would enable them to deliver patient care in the way that they want to. There is a tremendous focus on cost reduction in healthcare today. In fact, I think it's the single thing you hear when you open any newspaper or listen to the radio. And I call it the leanification of healthcare in America today. Every organization is hiring uh, process engineers from other industry to come in and strip out waste and improve efficiency. And I actually get a visceral reaction to that because I don't view what I do as a doctor as caring for a piece of technology. My patients aren't widgets, I'm not a mechanic. So to have engineers come in and apply tools from other industry is really demoralizing to me as a doc uh, and to nurses. Um, it's asking us to work harder, faster with less, and it's dehumanizing. We need to map the gaps in inefficiency, but the thing we are not doing in healthcare today is mapping the gaps in the human experience and putting something back in as we're stripping out waste. So I believe that's what the future should look like and that's what will make the difference in improving health outcomes in America today. I think the patient experience differs in the safety net organization because the population is just so much more complex. There are many factors that impact the health and well-being of patients and families in safety net organizations that we're just not equipped to address. There are many things besides a diseased and defective body part that impact people's ability to return to full health and it's socioeconomic, family factors, community, and I think the infrastructure isn't prepared to deal with all the things that matter most to these patients and families and address those needs that get in the way of healing. And I think everyone, doctors and nurses, enter the field in the safety net organizations because they're mission-driven, values-based, they want to make a difference for an underserved population, but their infrastructure doesn't provide them the tools to do that as successfully as we could. I think you add on top of that the cultural and the language differences, it's just more complicated. And I really think the opportunity to exists to create demonstration models in the safety net organization that become a model for the nation on how to provide an optimal healing experience. And if we can do it here, we can do it anywhere.